Hey everyone, just another update here from Lambda School. I've just completed week 24 here, and we covered web servers written with the C language. And this is similar to other curriculums or modules we've done in the past, such as Node and Express, or Python and Django. So this week is a little bit different. We had to write code with C, which tends to be a little bit more gritty than the other languages because of the allocations and that sort of thing. But I've definitely learned a lot overall. Other topics that we covered included uh, protocols, sockets, MIME types, and utilizing something called an LRU cache, which is a combination of a hash table and a doubly linked list. And the week was pretty great. We had a week-long repo for uh, our homework and we were essentially setting up a server, a web server in C and we had to write out all the functions and using utilizing formatting the different outputs to return back to a client if they were to request something and just basically setting up that whole back-end structure. The majority was already set up for us but we were writing essentially functions here and there, key functions to uh, complete the backend. And for lecture this week, we had Sean, and he did a great job because he went over some of the code that we had to write, and he did some solution lectures, which really helped us out, uh, especially with the sprint challenge, needing a full-fledged working backend so that we can ping it. And then he also answered questions that we had before coming to class, which is part of a new initiative that was started recently, where we would watch videos or we would have peer reviews and we would gather these questions for him to answer live during lecture. And for our sprint challenge, we essentially just set up the client side in the C language to ping our server that was written during the week. And essentially, it's a full stack application at this point. And so that was pretty cool to see. I always love things that come together like that. And the sprint wasn't too hard. There were some hints that were given on the readme. Sean gave us a, a breadcrumb the day before to help us out with some of the string formatting since uh, there's really no uh, a lot of string formatting functions built into the language and finish that sprint and everything so this is going to be the closing of all the the computer science teaching now we're heading into the last week the fifth week of computer science module and we're actually switching it up uh, i'm not surprised because this school is very innovative it's a cool thing and so the staff has been working on this new concept called build week where it's a cross cohort, cross track um, program to collaborate with other students in school. So on the teams that we were allowed to pick, there are now three UI developers, two front end, one back end, and one scrum master. And unfortunately, I won't be able to experience the other roles and my your role is pretty much locked in with where you are in the school curriculum. So for me, that would be Scrum Master. And I don't really mind because it's going to be my first time. It should be interesting. I'm still stepping into the role. And basically, I'm playing quarterback. And I'm helping out uh, different members of the team just get their portions done. And I'm allowed, I'm allowed to jump into the code as well, which I like a lot. Um, I've already set up a little bit of it today here on Saturday to um, just a, a, a place for all our members to actually congregate and uh, to submit to the repo, to add to the Kanban board, that sort of thing. And so I'll update you more about it next week, but it's, uh, it's going to be a really cool project I'm going to work on next week. It's going to be the whole week. It's not like what we were going to do or was planning to do, which was Conway's Game of Life in um, in the C language. 
And then this build week is basically taking over all the project week long um, things that students have now. So uh, excited for it and also trying to get ready for it because there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people, a lot of teamwork going on. So I'm hoping for a great experience. Uh, let's see how it goes next week. And that's going to do it here for me. And if you have any further questions, any comments, or just want to say hi, uh, feel free to drop a comment, send me a message, drop a message on Slack, DM me, it's all good. And on a personal front, I'm working on my portfolio and LinkedIn and resume still. I've been watching a video from Lambda's training kit, which is kind of like our online textbook. And it actually has links to other parts of the school curriculum. So there's one for career development. There's one for um, labs. There's one for you know computer science, full stack web, iOS, all of that. And you get access to all of that. It's, all, it's always there. And that's the one thing I love about the school because given my free time, I can get a jump on the material if I decide to. And so that's kind of what I'm working on. I finished basically the dark and light theme for my portfolio site and currently just adjusting the information around how to write the copy so that it's engaging. It comes across in the right way. Apparently there's a game to be played with applying to jobs, right? So I'm going to keep working on that, hammering away, and uh, let's see how this week goes. I hope everyone had a great week here at Lambda, and if you're considered joining, you can always hit me up. I'm willing to help you out and answer any questions that you may have. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you next week.